Hey guys, Rob, Sigma 3 Survival, and uh, a lot of viewers have been asking about doing some more traps, so uh, we're out doing the advanced standard today. We're down here making the uh, big basket fish trap, and then we're also going to teach some other uh, types of um, you know, fishing traps and, and little triggers that we can build. And probably my favorite one is, is just a spring pole. Or, and I also made another video back when we first started the channel called the Deadfall or Deadfall Fish Trap. And this is essentially a modified version of that. This is going to have a spring pole attached to it. And basically all it is is a trigger system to help set the hook on, uh, on fish. And it's not something that you necessarily have to have, um, but it sure increases your chances. And anything that we can do to increase our efficiency out here is something that we want to go after as long as um, you know time permits. So um, <clears throat> right now I'm going to get the spring pole set up and get the trigger system built and then we'll show you the up close and personal of it and how it, how it all works. So the first step in building this spring pole fish trap is to go ahead and get yourself a, make a stake and you're just gonna put, uh, find a limb or a Y or something like that and make a 45 off of this side and I'll show you the close up on that. And then <clears throat> you're just gonna find a good spot next to the creek or the river, wherever you're fishing and you're gonna pound this into the ground. Okay, so after you get your stake driven, go out and find yourself a good spring pole. You want something that's got a lot of flexibility to it, but uh, also won't break on you. And hopefully, I mean, if you can find something that is um, slightly dead or a season and still has flexibility, that's best because it'll take less shape. Um, using green wood, um, while it's the most flexible type of wood, will occasionally, if it sets too long like that, it'll start to take the shape. So. <clears throat> You know, find your sapling, and in order to conserve cordage, I'm just going to ram this into a tree. And cordage is always a big deal in survival. And then I've got my other stake right here, and it's just basically the opposite, except we don't need, um, you know, we don't need a long stake portion. So I'm going to measure that, and I need about two feet of cordage and I'll cut that and get rigged up. All right, so I just wanted to give you a quick close-up of what my basic fishing kit is. Um, you throw a little few sinkers in there. Those can be improvised with just rocks, but I just basically have a big assortment of hooks. Um, and today we're out on the river, so there's a lot of big catfish, so we're going to be going with a little bit bigger stuff. But I'm typically an advocate of go small with hooks because you can catch big fish with small hooks, but you can't catch little fish with big hooks. So. You know, I tend to have more small hooks in my kit. A little bit of monofilament line. I usually go with 10 or 12 pound test because that'll work pretty much anywhere. If you're in murky water all the time, you can go with something a lot stouter. And then also we've got our tarred trot line. That's a must have for any kind of fishing kit. So you've so. got your stake, which attaches your trigger system here. You've got your trot line or paracord or whatever you've got in your bag that attaches it to uh, the trigger. And then down here, where the notch is, or where the trigger attaches, you've basically got your monofilament line. And then connected to your monofilament line is your hook and your sinker. And I'm going to show you the trick for how to throw this out there and how to get it set. Alright, so the bait we're using, we're going for catfish today. You know, that's why we got the bigger hook and bigger bait. I typically go after smaller fish. You know, brim's super easy to catch, and there's a million different ways to hook this. We just want to make sure that when we hook it, that the tip of the hook isn't, isn't too well exposed, so that when you are hand pulling it back in, that, um, you know, it doesn't snag quite as easy. And there's a trick to throwing this out, because there needs to be tension, it needs to be taunt when you toss it. So bend your spring pole out as far as you possibly can. Take the sinker and chunk it. And then when you draw it down, it'll draw it back in and tighten it up a little bit. And all I'm going to do is just put a hair trigger on this. So that if it, the fish yanks it, it's for sure going to set off. 
And there you go. You need to be very mindful to watch your eyes around these types of traps because they can set loose. So I'm going to let that set and then we'll, um, I'll demonstrate how it, how it sets off. So I'm going to trip this trigger just to demonstrate how it, it, it works. Um, this thing's going to violently yank back that way, so I'm going to stay out of the way so I don't get smacked with it. But, you know, the p fish is going to pull in that direction or pull off to an angle one way or the other once they pull it taunt. And then it sets the hook on them, just like that. And, you know, if, if your pole is too green, you know, you won't get enough rise action out of it, so make sure that you test this stuff before you officially set it. And you should be good to go. Rolling. All right, guys, so that is the uh, spring pole fish trap. You know, it's just a simple little trigger system you can throw up to kind of increase the efficiency of, you know, limb lines and things like that that you'd be setting out in any kind of normal survival trip, assuming you've got a little bit of equipment. And one of the things I never go or, um, you know, leave home without is a little bit of fishing gear. Um, you know, so get out there and try this. Go down to your local lakes, rivers, streams, and, uh, you know, see how it works for you. And, and hopefully you post that commentary back. You know, we love to hear about results. And, uh, you know, as always, thank you for, you know, sharing our videos, liking and subscribing. And uh, tune in for the next one. Thanks.